Sandra and I'm here with Rain. I'm going to um, desensitize her to the tarp. So I do this at a few phases and with a couple of lessons. Um, first one, I'm just going to have her target the tarp and just whenever she touches it or reaches out or looks at it, I'm going to um, give her some positive reinforcement. So just kind of fold it up, make it kind of small first so it's not quite as scary. Um, and then, like, she already wants to look at it, so I'm just going to cluck and reward her for doing that. So if your horse isn't super interested in it to begin with, um, I would just, like, move it around, and then when they just kind of look at it, I would reward it. And they don't have to touch it at first either. She just kind of, she just already wants to touch it, so... So she's pretty interested in it already. You first just want to make sure they're not terrified of it. So you just want to have them look at it and reward a few times and then have them touch it and then reward a few times. And once they consistently touch it, like when you move it around, like she, her head keeps following it, then you're good to move on to the next phase. So the next one, I'm just gonna uh, set it on the ground. I'll make it a little bit bigger. But you don't want to make it too much bigger than that. And I'm just gonna have her kind of check it out. She's like, where's my treat? So since she's not super um, afraid of it at all, I'm just gonna ask a little bit more of her. So I'm gonna see if she'll kind of follow me and kind of step on it. There we go. So her hoof went right on it, so order. Send her over. So I want to get, she got one foot on, I want to see if I can move on to getting two feet on. All right, close. Good. So I'm going through this really fast with her since she's really not afraid of it and I don't want to keep rewarding her for the same thing over and over again. I want her to keep trying. So, move her off. Yeah, you're on it. Come on, get off of it. So I'm just going to move her off, and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. So, um, she's barefoot. Um, if your horse has shoes, you want to put some dirt on the edge because it could get caught on their shoe and then scare them, and they could run away, and it'll be dragging behind them, and it could be a big mess. So um, it shouldn't be a problem for her since she's not super scared, and she doesn't have shoes on. So, so I click when she's got her back foot on. Open it up a little bit more. I want to get all four feet on. Come on. Good. So both of their back feet touch that, so I'll be good with that. So open it up all the way. Come on. back up with like all her feet on there. I'll reward her when she does that. All right, so once the horse can stand on the uh, tarp with all four feet and she's not super scared, I'll move on to the third part. Come on. So this kind of allows them to see it and like explore it for themselves. And then now I'll kind of um, put it on her. You don't want to do this first because they don't really get a chance to see it and they'll be a lot more worried so I'm just going to fold it up a little bit more so not too much and she's not super worried with it right now but you might have to start with it folded up a little bit more depending on how worried your horse is about it okay she already knows that she's supposed to touch it so so I'm just going to desensitize um, kind of like I did with the plastic bag She knows she's supposed to touch it. She's a little worried there. There, she wasn't too worried. She was a little bit worried with just me approaching her with it. So 
just gonna rub her all over with it. It's not super worried. I'm waiting for her to blink here. I could kind of put it up on her shoulder and on her neck. And she's cool with that. Touch on her legs. Her back. Kind of move my way down here. And she's pretty cool with that. So then you want to make sure you do the same thing on that side. And then I'm going to start um, kind of getting over her back. So wait for her to relax here. So she wanted to follow it when I walked away. There's a skin. So like, I want to start out with them touching and targeting the tarp because then she wants it kind of be, to be near her. She's not as afraid right from the start. And if she wanted to run away, that's fine. Just send her out to the end of my line. Let her run around at a canter for a couple minutes and then bring her back and then do the same spot where I left off. So wait there and relax. Okay. So then I'll do the next part. So I'm just gonna kinda stand to the side here and I'm gonna make sure that she's not gonna try and jump on me because she's singing out of both of her eyes. She seems pretty cool with that. So I'm just kinda like, just started with like just a little bit, take it back. And then I get a little bit further on that side, take it off a little bit further on that side. There she blinked. She was not too horribly concerned about that. Okay. She's good with that, so I'll do the same thing on this side. So start just putting a little bit. And just keep doing it rhythmically, tossing it over. If she were to like have her head high or anything, I'd just keep doing at that same air place it was at and then wait till she relaxed. She blinked, so I'll take it away. Anytime she shows me if she's relaxed, I'll just take it away. So she's not too worried. You just want to make sure you keep a hand on it so you can take it away, not get run over. All right. So she's gonna see it in both sides. And then the last part is just kinda tossing it over her like it would be like a little um, saddle pad. Then I wanna keep a hold of it and then I'm just gonna yield her hindquarters over and then take it off. So I wanna move with it a little bit. Okay. Take it off and she yields her hindquarters over. So you should get a little scared and then take it off. So just go back to doing it at a standstill. So there when she got a little scared, just heal her hindquarters over and take it off. Get it back over her. Okay. And take it off. Good. So that does two things. I can get her, can get more control of her because uh, when she gets scared, I can just yield her hindquarters and she could still jump forward, but I have more control of her. Um, and then um, I'm just kind of trying to program her to yield her hindquarters when she does get scared. So, like, after she yields it, I take it away. So I have her take a step, take it away. So then she knows, like, as soon as she'll yield her hindquarters, I'll take it away. Sensitize it to her a little bit. That's why you want to keep a hold of it so you can 
um, have control of it at all times. So I'm gonna get a. She's more worried about this part. So once she does it and she's pretty calm about it, I'm gonna click and reward her. So she's a little tense here. So I'm gonna wait. Gonna keep track of my rope. Okay, another hind quarters. And take it away. Do the same thing. The other hind quarters. Good. Take it away. So she was stepping over good, so I clucked while it was on her and she was stepping over. So you just kind of keep track of your lead rope, make sure it doesn't get tangled on her. Go back. So that's why um, when they're standing there, they can be a lot different versus once they start moving. So like she was cool with it while she's standing, but once she started moving, she got a lot more scared. So. The sensitizing while moving is a whole different thing. And she hasn't done this before either, where she has to move with it. Okay, so, and take it away. Good. Ask her for a few more steps. And take it away. A few more steps. And take it away. Back her up. So I'm just picking up on the lead rope, kind of up toward her hip, and then I'm just stepping toward her hindquarters, and she already knows how to do that. This came undone a little bit. So I don't want to start with the whole thing, like all the way unraveled. Um, I want to have it folded up. And then as you go, you can. Um, unravel it more. <laughs> so she's a little scared. Wait for her. Good. So she got a little scared. She was like stepping close behind. So when she stepped over, I clucked and then took it off. Well, I'm gonna get off the rope here. There we go. And take it off. Cover you. And take it off. Good. Okay, so she's done that a few times good. So I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Turn her away from the wind. Just take it off um, just as she starts to move, and then I'll build up how long it's on her. So just right there. It, take it off. So this is desensitizing her and like having it on her when she's moving as well as kind of showing her that if she yields her hindquarters, she can get, um, she should do that when she's scared instead of run off. And it's kind of desensitizing her to having something uh, slide or fall off her. Okay. 
So she did that pretty good that side and so I'm just gonna reward her for it. So just having that rope down there is just, they get used to it and then they get used to having something down um, kind of by their legs. Um, you just got to pay attention that it doesn't get wrapped up on there, but they get pretty uh, used to it pretty fast. So now she's used to it, I'm just going to have it kind of like drag on the ground near her. Go forward. And then yield her hindquarters and stop. Hindquarters. So she yielded her hindquarters on her own, so she got a little scared there. And then yield her hindquarters and then it stopped. So that's what I want. I want her to, when she's scared, she just yields her hindquarters instead of running or bucking or bolting. Ever go forward and then have it drag, build the hindquarters. Go ahead, build the hindquarters, and it stops. This way, it's like having it in my hand so I can control it more. Move it over to work closer to her a little bit. So I just let her take a few steps. Quarters. And when she steps over, I stop dragging it. Alright, do the same thing this way. Come on. And the other so I'm trying to time it that once she crosses over, it stops moving. She's a little worried about it. Kind of touched her leg. But she didn't like freak out too much when it touched her leg, so that's good. Gonna walk it forward in like a small circle so I kind of stay up by her shoulder. So she's pretty good with it. Um, once uh, you can drag it like that, kind of close to her, 
just put like a a rope on it and then have it kind of get like a little bit further back and I'll make another video with that um, but just for today that it's probably good with the tarp so once she can do all those lessons then I'll um, just clip like a lead line on it and then have her drag it a little bit more and go a little bit faster and have her do it at a trot so um, this will just be the first part of that. <laughs> 